Uh, hello, welcome to another ELC game. In this game, I'm bottom tier, so we've got lots of tier 7s, tier 6s, large number of heavy tanks actually, 5 on my side, 4 on the other side, some mediums, lots of tank destroyers, not much in the way of artillery and lights. I'm the only light on our team and they've got a single solitary light tank as well. Now, on this map, um, it's difficult to do the death ride technique because there's not much in the way of valleys or easy sight lines. So what I was planning to do here was act in kind of the EL, I guess the ELC secondary role, so, which in this case is an attack tank destroyer. So my plan was to basically hide at the back instead of spotting and use my big gun to um, provide fire support since I can basically be one-shotted by virtually everything in this game. Um, that carried on for a while and then I just started driving around and trolling everybody. I actually died halfway through this game. However, the game itself was interesting enough and heated enough that I considered it to be worth recording anyway. So we've got a Cromwell B up there. Missed him. Cromwell B, if anybody's wondering what the difference between a Cromwell B and a normal Cromwell is, there basically isn't one. Um, the Cromwell B did not exist historically. It's a World of Tanks tank that is... Um, Wow, that hit. I can't believe that hit. That was a, just a snapshot. The Cromwell B, as far as I can tell historically, was just the, uh, the Cromwell that was, took part in the um, Berlin Parade at the end of the war. It wasn't like a separate subtype or anything like that, or any kind of upgraded uh, model or anything like that. It's not like a Cromwell B as opposed to a Cromwell part version A, for example. It's not like the, with the Panzer IV on the left, we've got the Panzer IV H, which is an upgraded version um, compared to the Panzer IV D or the Panzer IV A, whatever the combat piece not like that. Um, so now what I'm doing is doing some spotting. So I'm, I got bored of sitting at the back, so I decided to kind of try and drive around a bit. Um, still being very careful because, as I said, the tanks in this game are much more powerful than me. Although I'm difficult to hit, I'm not that difficult to hit and uh, could cause problems. So what I'm doing is kind of sniping, kind of scouting, not really-ish. Um, driving around. Oh, good, another shot, another hit. We get a few of those, so that's where I'm going. There's a tank up here just there, so now I'm going to run away and hide. It's the Cromwell B from earlier. I think he's probably about to die, actually. I don't know how low his health is. I'm going to try and kill him myself. Got him. Nice. Finished the work from earlier. Um, I'm going to head up and support these guys over here now, there's some tanks over there, so I'm going to drive through this ditch in order to avoid being shot at by them, try not to turn over, oh firefly, I'm going to try and kill the firefly and hope I don't get shot before I get there, which is why I'm going to go around here, crap I got hit by the guys shooting at me from over there, they missed their subsequent shots, no, I think I have just about enough health to survive, so I'm going to go around this way and try and um, get him, he's hiding behind the bush, I can't actually really see him from here, he fires at me, mists, I need to nail him before he reloads. Now, good. This is where I made the mistake, I should have turned back around, but I just carried on hoping that they'd miss. They missed the first shot and boosh, nailed me the second shot, so now I'm dead. Um, didn't do too badly, I got 600 odd damage myself and an unknown amount of spotting damage at this time. Uh, the battle is actually still fairly close, although it looked to me at this point like um, we were going to win because I thought we had the initiative. Hellcat did awesome just then, that was good, I was quite impressed by that. Uh, 8 kills to 5 at the moment, so we are winning. 8 kills to 6, we are winning, but um, it's looking quite heated, especially in the centre. So the Hellcat is now heading down the side, I think he's probably trying to flank, get around the sides. Uh, everybody else is heading to the middle, the IS He's heading in. He's one of our main, probably one of our main battlers for now, because he's still got most of his health left, and he's a tier seven heavy. Skoda taking on the E25. He's going to die. There's no way he's surviving this. However, he is doing a lot of damage to the E25, which is good because those tanks are really annoying. He's dead. E25 is trying to hide behind his corpse. Uh, that's not going to help him very much because now he's not hiding behind the corpse anymore, and boom, now he's gone. Um, Hellcat. That's one, that's one Hellcat. Other Hellcat is still around here. He's got two kills, I think. Yep, he's doing alright. IS has now actually reached... No, he isn't. This is a different IS. Same IS, I'm confused. No, he's heading down. He's going around the side. 
Um, all their heavies are now over the far side where the T25-2 was complaining earlier about nobody going down there. Um, so they've the heavies, their heavies are now on that side of the map. Uh, we did quite well actually in avoiding most of those until the end. Hellcat is not being stupid. He's going to go for the Tiger. Because just there, he's going to go for it. Is it the Tiger? Yeah, the Tiger did. Yep, nailed him. Well done. Now retreat before the OI gets you. Yep, well done. Good Hellcat, good man. Um, there are only on two tanks left now. Um, neither on good health. The OI. Don't present your side armour. OI's did well. He nailed the IS. The IS is shot, bounce off his front armour. And do turn, 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 turn. Don't let him get beside you. No. OIs have heavy front and rear, but very thin side. I mean, when your side is literally the size of a barn door, you do not want somebody on your side. He should have turned, and now he's dead. Although the guy who killed him is also dead, and that's the end of the game. So now we're going to move on to battle results, and let's go through those. So battle results. Firstly, uh, I got my two times victory bonus for this one, so I got almost 1,300 experience and 16,000 credits roughly um, 500 and something damage 800 and something assisted damage pretty good going for an ELC uh, that's not the best I've ever done but it's not bad uh, second level mastery badge puts me above 80% of everybody else in the last week or so on this tank which is quite nice uh, these are all the statistics so had pretty good effect on about 8 vehicles damaged a bunch of modules on a bunch of them there uh, loads of assist damage, a few spots, kills, etc, etc, etc. Team score, I came 4th out of 15, which is pretty good going. Uh, beating out quite a lot of tier 7 tanks as well, which I quite like. Uh, doing less damage than, say, for example, the 01, but getting more kills, getting more experience, probably because everybody was a higher tier than me. Although, actually, they're probably a higher tier than him as well. I think the 01X is tier 5. Uh, that O1 did the best, he got the most damage, most experienced, apart from his little mistake where he nearly got blown up by an IS because he presented his side armour, which was a bit silly in my opinion, but he still did alright. Uh, the IS on the other team managed to get an award, high calibre, so he got, a lot, yeah, he got lots of damage. He did well, he was the one who nearly killed him. Uh, so the other team did well, although we still had six survivors. I would not knock them at all. Uh, they played very well. Detailed report uh, is very similar again. Here's my cost. So I made 11,000 credits profit overall. And yep, that's pretty much it. So thank you for watching this game. If you have any comments, suggestions, insults, or anything else, feel free to leave them in the comments. Uh, I promise that I might re might think about reading them. And thank you very much for watching.